Payload Upward. This is one of the most common Highlander maps, most Highlander players' favourite map, I would say. Let's go through it point by point. First off, here's all of the Kungs for the locations in the first point area. Over here you have the three spawn doors for blue. You have the tracks going straight up the middle. This area is called top and is where most of the attacks come from along this route from this spawn door. This is called slope or rocks. Sometimes the red sniper will be here, often the blue engineer will be here. This is behind spawn. This is roof. This top area here is called playground. This is underneath and has the health pack. This whole area here is flank and is where the NG will find his big ammo pack. This is hill and goes towards second point. And this is cliff. Finally, this gets called tunnel. Now that's out of the way, let's get on to the actual play at this point. Red Team are going to all start by suiciding here for the Engineer. He's then going to build his stuff in this area. Usually that'll be a sentry in this spot that watches top. This is far from the only set of building positions at first point. You'll also quite often see the teleporter by the cliff here, the dispenser in the place of the teleporter. Demo will probably put some stickies in a sneaky spot. There's quite a few that people like to use. There's this one here in the rocks. Um, sometimes inside this rock here you can hide stickies. Equally you can get them in among this area, or here, or against the door. Play's going to start off in a pretty usual manner, with blue team suiciding out. Medic's going to hide in spawn over in this door. Uh, sometimes you'll see Heavy pushing the cart with Fists of Steel. Blue Angie likes to build a dispenser and a mini sentry here quite often, over in the rocks. The blue main objective, as ever, is going to be to kill the red sniper, because this is a really sniper heavy map. Sniper is going to have a good time here. He's got great sight lines from playground here. Uh, sometimes you'll also see the sniper around the rocks here, to really focus on that right door where the medic comes from. Hard for him to stay there long though. The other place you sometimes see them is up at hill at the back here. More defensive, but still huge sight lines. The red pyro is going to have to be looking out for spies and flankers sneaking through the flank area here. He's very powerful in this spot incidentally, because he can just air blast people straight off the cliff. And it's quite cramped, so he can quite easily spy check with his flamethrower here. So once the sniper's down, the blue combo are going to push up along this side here towards top. This is where you're going to see nearly every uber push come from. It's pretty standard, Med's going to uber the demo over the top. They're going to try and gun for the sentry. This is a map that Pyro is going to be crucial on in the ubers. At this point especially, the red pyro can very easily air blast away the blue combo around this corner where they can't see the sentry. Best not to try and blast them back the way they came because they still have a shot from there. While that's going on, you're going to see lots of sap attempts. You're going to see the Solly and Scout trying to get in. Often you'll see the Solly up in playground taking shots at the sentry while it's busy shooting the combo. This can actually be quite a long hold. You'll often see Ubers come in, fail to get the sentry, and then the sentry go down in the post-Uber fight. Okay, to move on, the standard tends to be for combo to push up hill here into second. We have the slope and cliff routes up here. This whole area gets called slope. These are the rocks, this is tunnel, or sometimes elbow. This structure here is called house with its platform. This is the window to house. This is B house, and this is cliff. This also leads into the tunnel. This is tunnel bridge, and it leads to elbow. Sometimes you need a call for this area, it often gets called sewer because it connects to here. You're going to see quite a few different holds from the defenders. Quite common one these days is this setup here with a dispenser in the tunnel and a sentry either above the main tunnel entrance or near there. Sniper and combo playing around house and platform. That's the forward hold that you see quite commonly. Once that has gone down, you're then going to see the more standard hold with a sentry on this platform by spawn. Sniper peeking around sewer and from B house. Meanwhile, the blue team are going to be pushing over the top, often Ubering from under platform, from platform, or jumping out the window of house. Won't see many pushes through tunnel, as you can very easily get spammed out in there. 
What I'm seeing a lot more of are combos holding in elbow on the red team when playing the forward hold, which is resulting in more pushes from tunnel to deal with the forward hold because it's much easier for the blue team to come through elbow over here and force an uber out of the red team before taking out the sentry. With the more defensive hold, again, pyro ubers are very important here, but there's not really many easy places for him to send the combo. If he's really lucky, he might get them off this cliff, but it's so far away it's not likely to happen. Once blue team have destroyed the sentry here, they need to be very quick to move through here, being very careful of sticky traps around the door, but they need to camp this spawn really well while their flank get the car pushed in. Moving on to third point. Trax works his way around here. This is under Trax, and it leads to this building, gloriously known as Shit House. Sniper is often on the point at Trax. This is bridge, and it connects into the house. Sometimes you need to distinguish the two houses. This would be, if you were blue, our house, and this would be their house, and vice versa, depending on your team. This is the platform. This is under platform. This little zone here sometimes gets called bucket, though a general call for this whole area is drop down, referring to this shortcut from red spawn that they can take until third point is captured. This obviously is house. This area here is stairs. Or sometimes front stairs, though that doesn't really matter until you're talking about the last point. Then you have Tracks or main here, this is where the sentry usually is, here or here. Once they've got that point, they'll usually be building Uber in the house here. You'll often lose your heavy here if he's a bit too sneaky and trying to get shots up here, as the red sniper will be up there near shit house. Meanwhile, your flank and your sniper are going to be around on the tracks pushing the car. The sniper is going to be, as ever, trying to get rid of the red sniper, who is often going to be positioned on the tracks here. Sentry-wise, your more forward sentry tends to be near the point on tracks so they can see down the slope. Sometimes you will briefly see a red sentry up in the top of house or in the door of house if red have managed to get a hold in the house here. You sometimes do see this very aggressive hold from red in house. It's becoming more popular. I'm seeing a lot more forward holds on upward than we used to. So there's now potentially three holds for that point. House, ahead of shit house, and then the standard hold is a sentry nearer the corner can see the point here. The engineer definitely needs to be handy with his wrangler to pull this off. The standard push you would expect on this point is blue team pushing up this slope, destroying either this forward sentry or the further back sentry. The further back sentry is way harder to destroy, but if you only had the sentry back there, your team can't be as aggressive forward near the point. The way red are usually going to defend this is with the demo man playing around the corner here, and usually the heavy up on platform, the medic in bucket slash drop down. Medic needs to rotate a lot on red team here, he needs to keep his heavy alive, but he also needs to rotate around this way to buff the sniper, as well as the flankers. The flankers are going to be keeping an eye on shit house and under tracks, as well as bombing over to tracks if they can to deal with the sniper. Moving on to last point. This is main or choke. This little floor here is called lower. Do not mistake it for under, which is this area here, which connects to the front stairs. The front stairs connect also to upper, which is this whole area here. Upper has its own drop down to lower. Most attacks come up backstairs here, into upper. This is battlements, or bats, tracks, the pit, and this is all under. Note that under also has this drop down to the tracks here. 
As we push into the last, the most important area that the control is all going to be about is upper. Upper is going to be where the defenders hold, usually with a heavy watching back stairs and a demo watching front stairs. What can be really tricky on this map is if your medic goes down on red, you have to somehow get him back to here from spawn. Meanwhile, the entire blue team is going to be hanging around choke here. There'll be a sniper almost certainly watching down here, so it's very difficult to get the medic across. But even if you come through under, you're almost certainly going to run into the flank as they're going to be trying to slip through that area. Really under is the flank for the last point. Really you need to send someone back with medic to escort him back to upper and you really do need to get him into upper. You can have a hold down here on the corner with the combo or even up on battlements but it's not a strong hold. If blue team have control of upper they can deal with any of the good sentries, they can spam around to that corner and they are in a very good position to push the car. So, the pushes for the last tend to go with the blue team pushing into upper. They're usually going to be doing that through under, hopefully having already dealt with the enemy flank. Up back stairs, and here there'll be an exchange of ubers. Again, excellent point for pyro on both teams, just controlling this tiny stairway you can do a huge amount of damage in terms of wasting enemy uber time. Obviously this is a very demo friendly area as well, the blue demo can just spam up these stairs when they're ubering in. Meanwhile, the red medic can retreat down this way, but again that's another very tight corridor where you can get spammed out. The other push is of course through front stairs, very similar deal, the red demo is going to be able to spam this door. Slightly worse in terms of you've got further to go to reach the medic, you waste more uber travelling down this first corridor. In terms of uber time, push from under and back stairs tends to be the best. If you're not concerned about an enemy combo, your main threat is going to be the sentry. The sentry will either be on the battlements here, here, or here. These are the standard sentries. You will often see NGs at last building a dispenser in this stairway. If you position it just right, it's impossible for a spy to get through without destroying it. Very occasionally, you do see a sentry on the other battlements here with a sniper next to it. If the sniper's down on red though, this sentry is not going to last long. I've also been seeing sentries in this window here. If you don't have a very aggressive hold, it's going to be difficult to keep this up. You really need to keep spam coming down onto tracks or the sniper's going to get a shot on that sentry. That said, if the NG is very attentive and is wrangling, it can be very effective. Once blue have successfully dealt with all of that, they're probably going to be an upper. They can rush down here and start spawn camping. And once red are low on numbers, everyone's going to be trying to get on this cart just to get it in before red respawn. That about wraps it up. I'll probably be doing similar videos for the other comp maps as they come about. I hope this was useful.